What would you do if I told you that you could cut your shifting size down by about 40% with just the use of a $45 plate? Today we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna install it in the Mazda Speed 3 and we're gonna cut our shifting down by 40%. Let's get straight into this. What is going on guys? Today we are going to be installing the Damond short shift plate in the Mazda Speed 3. Um, this is one of the missing pieces to my current build on the Speed and I'm glad to finally have this with me. This part is from Damond. It is a single selective plate, which meaning that you do not have adjustment. The best thing about this, this little piece right here is that Damond tells us that it will not bind the uh, transmission forks. I think it's the forks or something like that. We're gonna see how she does today. Hopefully, she'll be pretty mint. Get those quick shifts going, get that nice feel to the transmission going, and feel less of a Mazda product. We're gonna be installing this in my 2007 Mazda Speed 3. It's gonna be pretty easy since I already have the intake in it so I can reach down there quite easily. But if we go inside, I'm gonna show you the current throw. So the throw will be longer from what you guys might have with a stock shift knob. Because this shift knob sits higher than the stock one, the throw is gonna look a little bit longer. But if we go ahead, I'll try and get the best side angle for you guys. If we go into first, that's quite long. Go into second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So you guys can see it is quite long and uh, I noticed with these transmissions, second goes quite back far that your elbow's hitting the seat. So when we put in this plate, it will kind of remove that issue. Uh, I, it's like, I kind of got used to this whole long throw piece, but uh, this plate is definitely gonna make it a lot better and feel a lot nicer. So let's go ahead and start installing this plate into the speed. Damon offers this in a nice glossier kind of black finish with the chrome ball that the transmission selector will sit on. She'll just slide right in. They also let you choose whether or not you want to use a weight on this. You don't have to, but since uh, my shifting setup is a little loose from factory and I need to adjust this. Now I'm not going to adjust this today, but like I could literally, it, it just, it throws around like way too easy. Like there's literally no resistance. So I'm going to be putting the weight on because we're going shorter. I don't want it to pop out of gear until I adjust this. Maybe I'll try it without the weight, but I'm definitely going to try it with the uh, factory weight on there. Uh, just to make sure it does not pop out of gear with this short shift plate so let's go ahead get started putting this in so basically if we take a look in here it's gonna be a little hard to see for you guys you can see it right there so the whole objective today is to take off this piece take off the weight and then you pu uh, basically put on your new piece put the weight on it and then you're good to go so I'm gonna try doing this with the camera in my hand because I can't really get a good get a good angle in the tripod. So let's get down there and I'm gonna remove these two 12 millimeters for the uh, shift weight. So go ahead, loosen these up. You can probably thread them by hand once you crack them. They're a little tight if you haven't touched these before. They could be a little rusty. Go ahead and remove the first one. There is a washer on them. Make sure you don't lose that. And with that being said, you can pull out your stock weight we can put that aside for now. We're gonna go ahead and pop that little boy off. The whole idea is to pretty much pry it off the way that it sits. It might be awkward, but we'll see. So I did pry it off with the uh, needle noses, which means you can lift that up. We can go ahead and put the, uh, the new plate in, yay. Go ahead, take your 10 millimeter and make sure you tighten these enough so that the uh, plate won't be going anywhere. All right. And with that being said, your shift plate has now been installed as long as you tightened the weight onto there and put this little cap back on. Make sure that is on. We are good to go to test out the new shifter. So this is my first reaction. I'm a little scared because I always am. First thing you're going to do is probably get in the car and you're going to look at it you're going to be like, wow. Or you're going to grab it and you, you'll be like, what gear am I in? You're probably in gear. So definitely out of gear. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see how this is. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Okay, you can really feel it in, uh, so I'm already used, I literally just got used to this. You're gonna put it in the first, and I'm like, eh, that's not really a lot. And then you're gonna put it into second, and it feels like it literally is just, so here's second, and that's in gear. Like that's, uh, that's quite a bit. And then third, you're gonna be like, oh my God, this feels, that's crazy. So a somewhat side-by-side -side comparison. You guys can see here, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Now it might be hard to see on video, but when you're really sitting in this car and you're going, rolling through the gears, like that is quite impressive. So let's go for a boot and uh, test out the new shift plate. It's safe to say that I haven't used my GoPro in a while. This is the first time we're using the GoPro in Amber, so let's have fun. Let me just remember those. So first thing I'm gonna say, now that I'm sitting in the car and I'm actually gonna go drive, it, uh, it feels, I think I've, there's definitely shorter throws out there, but I don't, this is definitely not the maximum throw level, but I think this is a safe amount that it's not gonna blow up your transmission. Like reverse feels shorted a bit. Second still feels somewhat kind of long. Third, fourth. Anyways, let's go for a drive. See how this feels. Oh goody, it's sunny out and I don't have my sunglasses. Feeling on the second gear shift. Okay, it's shorter by a safe amount. It's not too hardcore. This definitely, it feels like it's, it locks better. I don't know, that's almost easier to drive with, to be honest. This makes it like, it makes it easy to drive, but it's not overdoing it. So long story short, I had a GBR short shift plate in the, uh, my old speed, had it all the way to short and it felt really, really short. This is, I can actually drive this car properly now. If you guys are in the speed community, you guys would know that the RPMs drop quite heavily. But this feels like relatively, like it, it's the perfect, perfect amount of shortiness. That is unbelievable. That first to second was so nice that I didn't even think I was in first at a point there. So what I'm trying to get at is first to second with the old plate felt very gross and it was scary. Like I'm legit minimum, I'm driving this car like I would drive my Mazda 3. Like there's no, I, I, I have the time now to actually let out the clutch when the revs drop at the right time and stuff. Like it's it's beautiful anyways i'll see you back on at home Alrighty, friends and that is the video for today i hope you guys enjoyed today's installation of the diamond short shift plate on my mazda speed 3 if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down in the comments below i will leave the link in the description for the product that i use today so if you guys want to you guys can Go ahead and uh, pick it up yourself. Other than that, this is the next day that I'm actually recording this. So I got a pretty decent day of using the uh, short shift plate. Like I mentioned when I was on the, uh, when I was actually driving the car, it just, it makes it easier to drive the car on a daily basis and it's a lot more pleasant to drive. Plus you're getting a nice short, shorter throw than normal. So I definitely would suggest this and I already have suggested it actually to someone. I think they're gonna go ahead and purchase it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, turn on the post notification bell. Uh, coronavirus is becoming a thing now and the world of today actually pretty much just shut down. I think it's the 12th today of March. And uh, all I'm saying is that I ain't shutting down and we're hitting hard because things are looking bright for us. Guys, keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.